Hello, welcome to the next tutorial in this um, tutorial series of getting um, the uh, creating a uh, shopping cart in PHP MySQL. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to be getting the add link to work. Um, so that when you click on the add over here, it will add it to a actual. It will add it to your cart. At the moment, this is useless. It's just displaying data. And we want to actually use that data and make it work. Um, so if we go over to our products.php page, go to the top and create a little box um, for the PHP code to go into. And we'll do this with if is set. Action and And action equals add. Oh, I just made a mistake there. That needs to be a capital T. Um, close one, two. Open, close. ID equals int val. Get ID. And then we need to do an if is set session, and we're looking for cart ID, but we don't need that there. We're looking for if it's using the variable ID. So if is set two closing brackets. Open that up. Um, and we're seeing, let's, oh, I'm lost here, um, oh yeah, session, cart, id, um, that, what that will do is, I've just messed that up, id, that doesn't have a closing tag there, Right, that will do the um, session cart um, with an ID set to it. It will um, increase the quantity by one. Plus plus is plus one. It's an increment. Um, and then here we'll do else SQL. SQL2 equals select of from products where id where id product equals um, and then we'll do query 2 equals to MySQL query and we'll have that as SQL 2 um, from there we need to go down and do another if statement which is if MySQL num rows Query to is other than zero. Row two equals my SQL fetch array. Um, query two, and then we've got. Session cart row row two ID underscore products. Uh, 
um, equals array. Um, and from there, that's the end of that line, so end that quote there, and we seem to have made an error somewhere, that's why it's put us back here. Uh -huh. Session, car, open, close, close. One. Okay, that's all right now. Yep. Um, from there, we'll go and close that tag which I've done here hmm because you're missing the close tag already right there we go, that's alright else um, and here we're going to have a m message equals this product id is invalid Um, and then just reclosing tags at the end, which means we've got them each lined up properly, which we've added the right amount. And then um, h1 Let's create a new h1 tag with a class of message and we'll put php tags and if is set hmm. let's put that as h2 tags actually echo that message that's that line finished we need to close the php tags and save that refresh and it we've got an error on line three a comma okay I don't understand that error I'll pause the video find out what's wrong and I'll sort it out okay I fixed the error what it was was that bracket we had two brackets here and we need to delete one of those and move it to the end of this action here and then we also I forgot to add a closing um, curly brace here save that and go over to um, my, uh, to your index page and you should receive an error like this. I'm just going to fix this again and I'll tell you how I did it in a minute. Okay, I've managed to fix it. Um, the error was simply I missed an S off this, which is really annoying. It could have just told me that. Well, I suppose it couldn't. But yeah, if I save it without the S, you'll see I get that error. If I save it with the S, you'll see I don't get that error. Um, so that's the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be using sorting out the sidebar, which will be going here. Um, so yeah, uh, tune in next time to see us with the sidebar.